Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3. Here we are in World 4, Giant Land, or Tiny Huge Land, or Island, or whatever you call it. And I picked the wrong, uh, picked the wrong warp pipe. That's embarrassing. Alright, anyway, I want to say right now, oh, we got a card game. I want to say that uh, I'm sorry for the, uh, the uh, frame rate issues in the couple of the previous videos. I'm not sure what the deal is with my recording method. I don't know if it's because I'm recording the audio at the same time as the video. I didn't have any problems like this when doing Mega Man 9, so I'm, I was kind of at a loss for uh, what was going wrong. And I still didn't get any. Anyway, I don't really need items, so I'm not too worried about it. But. But yeah, I, hopefully it doesn't happen again. I don't know. I don't, maybe my my laptop just doesn't have enough uh, RAM or something to do audio and video at the same time. I might have to do post commentary in future in uh, future recordings or LPs at this in this case. But yeah, we're in Giant Land, so everything's jumbo sized. Or just about everything. <laughs> Though our power-ups are the same size, and Raccoon Mario can't break the uh, big bricks with his tail. There we go. Yeah, this one's not too difficult. Yeah, the dif difficulty in the game is starting to ramp up, though. That's definitely the case. We got our star card. Hopefully I do better than I did in World 3. That was pretty sad. Usually I get a little bit further in the game before I start sucking. You know, Skylander. Iceland, usually. Yeah, we don't have Big Burfa here, strangely enough, but... We do have this one cheap cheap that just keeps... Keeps popping out of the water. Uh, wait, ooh, Starman, uh, give me that. Alrighty, that one's wrapped up pretty nicely. A nice pretty bow. But yeah, I really don't know what the deal was with the frame rate issues. So far, everything's running smoothly. You know, the, the Dazzle uh, recorder program tells me when, uh, when it drops some frames. It dropped five, but it seems to do that all the time, like when I first start up. But anyway... I'm just making sure my laptop doesn't go into sleep mode there. And we got Sledge Brothers. You don't want to... Oh crap, why'd I do that? You do not want to be on the ground when they land, when they jump up, because they shake the, the whole ground and it immobilizes you. for spinies we haven't seen yet in the Mario series. Alright, this one will be a one-up. be nice to replenish my stock of those from, uh, ah, crap. Alright, you want to be careful there. That there aren't any items in that bouncing, uh, that block, but it can knock you off the platform. And here we go, finally! We got fireworks! Five one-ups. Awesome. That's what we like to hear. Or like to see first one than the other, I guess. Alright, we got our first fortress. Okay, we got hot feet. Or hot foots. Or... Yeah, they basically function the same way as the uh, booze do. 
we got a warp little pipe here. And we got dry bones again. It looks like we're trapped, but not quite. Alrighty. Stay away from me, boo. Boom boom. Pretty much are used to him by now. You just jump on him as he recovers. And he doesn't even get a chance to attack that way. But yeah, I never I didn't say before, first stage of the battle against Boom Boom, he's pretty much normal. He just moves around. Then the second stage he'll either uh, move around and then jump really high across the room or he'll be in a he'll have wings and he'll fly in the air be very difficult to uh, hit. And then the third time he runs around on the floor really really fast. Okay we got a sledge brother. There we go. That's how that's how you do it. And we got a cloud that lets you skip a level one time. I don't really have any intention of using that. but Alrighty. So far so good on the frame rates. So. Okay. World 4. Ah, crap, I should have brought frog suit. The frog suit you can, ah, nuts. You can get down there. Yeah, you can't make it up there. But yeah, this is basically, uh, it's raining spinies. Or it will be shortly. It's best to stay as low as possible, but... He's got very good accuracy, that lanky two up there. Nope, you can't go into this one either. You know, he can snipe at you pretty well from, from his vantage point. He's got some serious Hawkeyes going. But we're almost there. Ooh, that was close. Alrighty. Alright, we're... We're in four stars in a row. Nice. Yep, and the bonus game, yeah, why not? Alright, at least I remember that one. Oh. Yeah, this is the board I never quite memorized, I guess. Uh, I know where the 1-Up is now. I'll have to remember that for next time. Alright, yep, we know the drill, Toad. Please, just, just let us take a box. We got a Super Leaf. We're just about out of space for items, too, so uh, I'll have to start using stuff up. After I take out these Sludge Brothers, I'll use up that uh, music box that I got from the princess last time. Yeah, close to him. Alright, wait for the second hammer to throw. Alright, the P-Wings. I already explained that before. It gives you unlimited uh, flying power. And a star man. We'll, we'll get some use out of those later, I'm sure. I don't typically use items all that often. Alright, music box. Uh, I'm not gonna use this one technically, but. Alright, let's go to uh, World 5 now. still give me raccoon power. Wasn't quite so lucky. Okay, are these the... Ah, crap, these are the bullet bill. The homing bills. Oh, nuts. Secret warp pipe! And what could be in here? We got the Tanuki suit! One of the three different suits in the game. This, In this form, you can transform into a statue of Mario if you hold down the down button and the B button. Ah, 
Oh no, I already lost it. Crap. Oh well. We'll see Tanuki again in the near future. It's very common in the Sky World, World 5. Alright, and the music box is still playing. So let's head up to, well, let me see, do I have another one of those clouds to use up? Yeah, I'll use that up real quick. Now, World 6. This one's basically a tiny, huge island in uh, 2D, essentially. Uh, no. Yeah, I don't want... Yeah, there we go. Are there any others? Nope. But you go through those doors, and everything changes in size. So basically now everything's small. I'm really not sure which way is easier, but you can get to some things better than you can in others. our jumps here, but let's not press it. Press it. Press our luck. And that's... Alright, we got one one up. Alright, we're at 42. That's not too bad. Considering all the times I died and I'm not doing the uh, bonus games, or really winning at the bonus games. Alrighty, which... Yeah, I'll just do the first one. Super Leaf! Just to burn up some of those items, I'll start this one up with a super mushroom. Alright, the second fortress. And we got donut blocks. We'll have those, uh, what you call it, guys. The I really don't know what to call them, actually. Oh no! Uh, I slowed down. If you heard something thunk just then, it was me scratching part of my face. Alright, I'll just stay small, I guess. There we go. You gotta get the full... You gotta use all four platforms to make that jump. And we got a secret door here. Oops. No, 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 no. All right, we got the arrow platforms. It's, uh, we'll see more of these in World 7, but but basically, when you use the ones that look like a light bulb, the uh, the arrow direction will change each time you jump on it. So they, they never go down, I believe. It's not in this game. I'll take this pipe. This one might be the one I need. There we go. We're powering up. And, yeah, that'll take us where we need to go. With a little taste of what's to come in World 7. I just warned there was a prana plant in the other pipe, too. Oh, well. But yeah, these, these blocks can go through walls. The, the catch is that you can't, so... Camera does not scroll back up for you. But here comes the one up. Yay! Got that one I lost back. I only died once so far in World 4. Not bad at all. And these are mushrooms. Yeah, if you had raccoon power or tanuki power, you could fly up there and break that block and get some more coins. But I'm a fire Mario. Which is only good for Boom Boom pretty much in this place. Speaking of, there we go. It only takes about five fireballs to take them out. Boom Boom is really a pushover. And so far, frame rate is normal, so that's, so that's cool. All good there. Alrighty, now let's answer the cry for help. We 
got turned into a little mini dinosaur. Glad they didn't make him a big one. He wouldn't fit in the castle. It's like a upright Stegosaurus or something. But all right, let me try to remember who's who is the Koopa Kid here. We already defeated Larry Morton Jr. and Wendy O. Koopa. It's number four, Iggy. Uh, No, uh, Ludwig is seven, and Lemmy is six. Yeah, oh, Yeah, I'm forgetting two of them. I, I'm sure it'll hit me once I see them. Remember, we got these, uh, spinny little platforms here on the, the screw, uh, cable or whatever. Uh, I wish I could remember what these things were called, if I ever knew the proper name. What is the other Koopa Kid's name? Jeez. It's gonna drive me crazy. Alrighty. Uh, Let's see, we got... It could be Iggy, or it could be... Um, Roy, or... Iggy or Roy? I think it's Iggy because I believe Roy is number five. He's the other big one besides Morton and Ludwig. There we go. Yeah, that's it. This one's gonna be uh, Iggy Koopa. Yeah, we're almost to the end. It's basically just avoiding these fireballs. Shortcut there. It makes things just a little bit easier. I think there might be a power up here at the end, but that might. Yeah, here we go. This is another super leaf. Whatever, we get some points. And the screen stops scrolling when it gets to this point. So you're in good shape here. Now let's go. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This is Iggy. Just gonna bounce this way and got him. Hooray! That's World Four down. That went very smoothly. I'm doing really good on time too. That only took about 18 minutes or so, according to the recorder time thing right here. So. uh here we go. Yeah, and then he says the same thing this time. I guess he's like some kind of pharaoh. He's got his turban on and uh, very little else. But alright guys. I guess I will be seeing you next time. The thief who stole the whistle has escaped to the east side of the sand dunes. We already took care of that. Thank you princess. Alright, I'll see you then.